SD Sandy and myself. Yeah. So far of me winning. I mean, SD Sandy has been putting in work this tournament. Yeah, yeah, he has. He has. Uh, he's like definitely I typically use one of those Mario's you may or may not have heard of uh, just because of how, like, because of school. Right. Honestly, because of school. And, and then, like, all the way, like, probably, what, 8, 18, 8 area? Yeah. So Sandy uh, goes to school towards Eagle Rock, right, because like, when he's in session, but he is from the Eagle He is more towards Burbank. Right. Yeah. That, that's, like, on the northern end of the yeah. yeah. Burbank is, like, the... I would say Burbank is, like, the... How do you call it? The gateway before you get into the San Gabriel Valley. Yeah. Because then you get into Glendale, and then you get into Pasadena. And then the, that's the whole IE area. Too. Yeah. And then I, after you pass, like, Arcadia actually gets the IE. So, yet again, SoCal, very, very big place. You know, we have a whole bunch of different subregions. And you know what? It's nice to see people, like, kind of travel from, like, north to south, you know? Yeah, most, most definitely. And all it takes is asking somebody like me who's nice enough to drive you yeah. two hours in traffic <laughs> to oh go all God. the way yeah. to Esports Arena. And I mean, I'm proud of Sandy because he pushed right. in this to get a winning final. So that's a big thing against Nitro. I do like the fact that he's looking for that spacing every time Nitro just goes for the game downwards because he's looking to punish him afterwards. Not only that, he's avoiding getting hit by back air afterwards. Like yeah. so, but unfortunately, Sandy was in that range. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about Mario is that like you have no disc points, and when you're up against Joker, who's like a semi disc point character, yeah. you know, you have to be able to outspace their their move. You know, you have to be like, okay, I know, especially with Arsene, you know, he has like this big ass, you know, back air. I gotta yeah. watch out for that. I gotta watch out for guns down because it's not just straight down; it's a cone shape. Yeah, so correct. you have to watch out for that. And you know what? Sometimes like can escape everywhere, but you know what? Nitro will find and hunt you down on the platform and just do everything he can be like, I see you trying to run away, I'm not going to let you. Yeah. Uh, what's really interesting to you is that we kind of had this conversation with him. But, well, Scissor had a conversation with him about Nitro and how he switched from characters like uh, Ricker to Joker, who's very much run down with Punish Penny, going uh, from being a zoner to very much a character like Joker. It is kind of a different set of different directions for Nitro, but he's so far starting to pull up, and he is improving. He's getting much higher places here. I mean, no Razo in attendance, no Leon in attendance. Either. He's the only, I think he's the only sole representative of the IE tonight. Yeah, I mean, definitely I feel like when we are looking at peaks, I feel like his Richter is a lot more polished, but his Joker is able to play more matchups and get more results as a Yeah, being as a player. Yeah. So I feel like his Joker is it's solid. It's not amazing though. And like when you're playing a character like Joker, sometimes all you need is just that solid fundamental, you know? Yeah. You don't it need does, it. You it don't does come back from like him using Sonic back as Smash 4. And again, you know what, this is what he does. Like, he realizes that, like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to push my advantage. And I feel like that's what Nitro does so well with this character, is that he's able to you know, get those, like, one, two hits in and just be like, okay, now I can capitalize on that. You know, now I can push my advantage. And now he can almost play it like he does with Richter, where he's just like, now I can force you to approach me, and then I can punish all your own approach options. Yeah. Approaching in this game is just bad across the board, like, unless you have, like, a sword. Yeah. I mean, the only thing Mara would have as a sword is his back air. Right. Solid disjoint, right? It's pretty good. He's really good out of shield dodge. really good of, of opportunity to put pressure on the opponent. But that's only one move. The one yeah, thing that so. Sandy kind of has to really capitalize is where is Magic going to be afterwards, right? Yeah. He goes for a deck down there. No confirm. Sandy is going to be at that spot where he's never going to grab and put Nitro on every percent. And again, you're talking about that back air. And you know what? I feel like Sandy is just trying to just find his way into neutral. But Nitro is almost getting there like three steps ahead and it's yeah. just kind of like blocking off his approach options. And like you said, he's three steps ahead. He already went down there for the counter because he knows Mario has to go for that up B. He has to go for that low recovery. And it is susceptible to being killed by counter. That's already three things I named, which is three steps ahead. Yeah. You know, and I like what he did. He knows it's like, okay, Mario's got me off stage. Let me upward guns yeah. so that like he can't like back air. You know? And I love what Nitro did right there because you know you never see upward guns. Yeah. You know? It is very rare, but it's also still a viable move for it. <laughs> and then there was the grab the back throw. Barely not gonna be able to take an incredible DI from Nitro right there. And yet again with that, you know, our Sen is pretty much almost back on deck. Oh that was good. He gun slide is like, come back on the stage. What that's one thing that most people would have not even Sandy, but just most people would not actually participate is Joker coming back with the gun slide from the right. It is it acts an extra layer for him to make a recovery. And yet again, it also just throws out that box. Yeah. yeah. Back air, you think about how he's somewhat disjointed. Arson back air. It is one of those moves. Yeah.
I mean, have to respect definitely it. Joker is one of those characters where you need to have solid fundamentals in play, and in order to fight against him, you need to either out neutral your opponent so that like you don't don't get hit by any of the stuff, or you need to put on so much pressure that he can't like put pressure on you. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's what it's like. What they say: the best offense or the best defense is a good yeah. offense. Correct. You know? I, w I would definitely agree on that, one hundred and ten percent. Again, like here we go. No, like the other thing is that like a lot of Mario's like they like to you know throw fireballs in your control and like follow follow up behind it. So I feel like you can't really do that as much just because he has rebel scar. You know? Yeah, and that's what you're probably gonna get like have to worry about getting through the like air Not only that, uh, in the air to air, Joker does have a little slight in some moves if you can call it Mario for like those aerial options. But uh, like I said, I think one thing that SB Zany was doing better was anticipating where the game was gonna land and then punish him for it. Great. He stopped himself there at the one neutral second because he would have extended himself a little bit too far than I could have landed first and punished him for it. And yet again, getting that heavy there but not gonna be able to combo off of it. You know, he thought he would pop up a little bit higher. Unfortunately, the up air did not connect. Go back off the down tilt, but I still like how go for what is probably the most likely guarantee. He is a bat as a crab. At this point, Nigel playing a little defensive arts and activating his back throw and set up the edge guard fade, charges the flood. I like the fact he's taking the time for it. Close to that retreating there on the on the stage. The reason why is that if Joker does try to go for an out of out of ledge option, Sandy will still catch him out and it's also a really good fade out. And you saw right there, Sandy was kind of just like sitting back at that like kind of roll distance away just to look for like a jump from ledge just so they can back here and snipe that out. You know? And if he rolls oh. or if he normal gets and he just react to that and just grab it accordingly. I like that. Sandy doesn't go for the Wizzy smash. He doesn't up smash him at the time. He knows, you know what, I'll take that. I'll take that. It didn't work the first time. I'll find another option here and I'll go for it like, Definitely, it's one of those options that like, it's, it's a high risk. Not like high, high risk, but like, there is a certain amount of risk to it, and then like yeah. you get you get so I, I would, much reward. I, I would say like a medium risk, high reward. You know? Yeah. What up? Oh. Okay. But yet again, like when you're up against Joker, like that high risk or that medium risk just becomes a little bit higher, and so you have to actually like worry about throwing out these moves that could potentially lead to your death. And, ooh, calling out the flood. No, I'm amazed that he just reacted to that. Yeah. Another taking downwards. Yep. Giving Sandy some tough time here. You know, Mario recovery is still pretty good. He's able to make it back to ledge. I know it getting the combo off of the fireball. Not going to push his advantage stage too much just because you know that Joker is going to get or set gauge back. So kind of try to reset it to neutral before he can like overstep his boundaries. Yeah. And it's fair. Oh no, he didn't pull off the fair. Yeah, he didn't full hop it. He had a little hop it. Nice. Good up, he had a shield. Usually a lot of like up he had a shield for a lot of characters is really, really good too. Especially right at a, especially at a point like that. Sandy's not going to get the stop, but he's still just looking to get Joker all the way up in his face. And yet again, it's a good combo breaker tool too. So yeah. That, you know, you saw like Nitro wanted to follow up or something, but you couldn't find it. And, you know, using the cape to kind of like get back to ledge, you know, be like, okay, let's see. Because he tends to throw out guns or a a lot. So I like what. Uh, Sandy is just doing it neutral, just you know, keeping a very, very solid like fundamental game plan and just yeah. kind of sticking to it. You know what? He has the lead. He's not really trying to push his aggression just because he knows that like, okay, Nitro's waiting for me to make the move first, so yeah. I need to kind of punish. Him and he's like you said, right? In the first game, Sandy has to be careful when he goes for the fireball because he will give Joker that rebel scar that he can use and then probably go send with it. So Sandy makes sure if he's going to go for the fireball, it's very awkward stuff. And that's a really good opportunity for the to fire the ledge, but it doesn't mind causing Nitro to actually hold shield by Sandy and Sandy to come back on the stage. Hopefully, you get a cross and force grab and pass the time through. Oh, reading the normal oh, get up, no! but yeah, they're gonna miss the punish on that. And again, now we're just seeing the neutral and the four tilt just gonna whiff, but you know, we're not gonna get too far punished if they're going for the grab. This whole slide on fire does not call it safe. That might have been a grab too, but he missed the opportunity. Didn't want to overextend himself on the platform, which dropped down. Oh man, hit him with the prison shake. Nice. Ooh, could be the double jump making it back to the stage. And you know what, Nitro, I feel like he's just really struggling to find his kill because, you know, Sandy's just not running into any of these, you know, aerials. Yeah. Four there. Taking 
like that work. Sandy's still surviving at 137. I love how Sandy is just staying calm, though, knowing that, like, okay, I can get hit by, like, two or three of these. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah. like, yeah. still make it bad. <laughs> but what's this to my 148%, right? right. Taking you is not going to be able to do too much against me, but the rest of Joker will. Alright, man, Arson activated here. Again, just throwing out that wall of bears right there. Being like, no, you are not jumping in this airspace. And you know what? Sandy's just like, fine, I don't need to jump oh, there. That was good. That was out the counter. 65% for such a good game. Down throw. I like I like how he went for the forward air. Even though he kind of, I look like he held back on the control stick. Just to try to like anticipate the DI and then Nitro did the DI. And then he just went for counter. I feel like, no, he DI'd straight out. Yeah, he, yeah, he did straight out. Yeah. But you know what, after that one interaction, oh, that you know, be. Sandy is just taking the weak control of the pace of this game right yeah. now. Yeah, all for the patience. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of just like the name of the game against Joker, you know? Like, if you can stay patient and just wait for your opening, you know, you can just open it up and, like, yet again, is Joker Oh, yeah. so, I was about to say, like, wow, that's going to be a square with stock. But you know what? They traded and... You know, he still has to work for his stock because, you know, Arsene's on deck. He can definitely make this back if Arsene gets... Oh, I was about to say, I mean, like, if, if, Ars <laughs> if Arsene, like, got him off stage and then go went for, like, a dare or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Most definitely. I think the problem there is that, like, Nitro trying to go for a landing there, to confirm off a grab to forward, uh, from it right because you can't get that with Arsene there. The big problem, though, is that he really extended himself for that one. Right. And then that pretty much allowed that opportunity. That to happen. Hey guys, so yep. we're, we're here. Uh, the, the camera died because um, uh, well, one of the things that Hobby is trying to do is up the production for right. a lot of the tournaments. So he uses his own DSLR and the battery just to die out. So he's going to have to change the battery for that one. Yeah, he's been talking about like getting like a new battery pack just so that like he can extend the life on that until it'll last throughout the entire tournament. Yeah. And I feel that, dude. Sometimes when you want to improve production quality, you have to, like, you know, you have to test it in full cycle, but you also have to see what needs to be adjusted. Okay, I need a better battery pack. Right. And for Nitro, when you want to improve the people here, you're going to have to like, just start with Sandy here and start looking at, like, okay, what do I have to do that happened game three? Sorry, game two. Just put me in game three, right? That landing there, I have a commitment here. And that will just put Mario up smash in his favor. Yeah, they get, you know what, Mario up here, up here, fair, not gonna be off stage enough to get the kill, but you know what? Yeah, it was good damage. Good damage. Uh, put him in a text message. Sandy with the lower covering and those magnets. I feel like Mario still has magnet hands. Right. He cheated. Sakurai said everybody's magnet hands got there, and Mario snuck them in under his gloves. But you know, that drag down up air is such a great kill confirm for Joker right there. Nice. I like that he tries to go for the, the rising air off the ledge there because it's really, it's really going to stop other recoveries because obviously they're not intangible when they're going up in the tether and it's going to last for so long. Right. Yeah, again, now we see Nitro with the lead. So, you know, you, we see him kind of just holding back a little bit more and not going to be able to punish the up B on the landing, you know, kind of dash attacking a little bit too soon right there. Mm -hmm. Nice, that's step. This is the mark here. Landing with the air. Hops. I like that, keep it a little bit right back there. I like the coming. He saw Nitro was going to go for the aerial take game, but unfortunately, Nitro did not anticipate Sandy's really, really good use of dash dance to get the sneak in the up smash. All the way from the ledge, too. Right. Here we go. No, kind of just using the flood to get him out of the way. You know, and now we see Nitro just kind of like trying to just throw out like safe moves. But once Mario gets in, he can basically give like half Rebellion Gauge right there. <laughs> yeah, one combo. That, that is true. That is true. So it's kind of like the duality of like, I want to combo you so that I can kill you. But then I have to deal with Arsene, you know? It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like when the boss goes into like rage mode after you take away half his health. Right, right, right. No, you, you fight the second form of the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Any JRPG always has a form two of the, of the final boss. At least a form two. You know, some have like a triple or third form. God, those are the worst. Yeah. And, and, and they got that like, oh, I have a regen factor or something. I don't know, man. Dude, bosses with regen, that that is the 
Yes. Oh my god. I think Final Fantasy 13, they gave you a Doom meter. So the boss puts you in Doom. So you have like X amount of time to actually beat the boss before your character dies. Anyways, there is no team meter, but we are playing on stock and time. So looking at 4 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here. Sandy looking for an opportunity to try to cross up Nitro with the back end. Missed the mark here. Nitro 125. He's got control in his hands. Yeah. Your tempo. And I like what Nitro's just doing. He's just kind of just stuffing out all of you know, Sandy's approach options right here. Yeah. And you know what? Every time Sandy picks wrong, you know, that's another like 10, 15%. You know, it just slowly racks up over time. And I like the attempt right there. He tried going high to avoid the ledge chunk. Uh, unfortunately, the landing lag kind of just put him in a bad position to get up smash. Yeah. Nice. Out of shield, both in there. Joker with the parry and gets up to a really good opportunity, but Sandy tried to land on the center platform. I respect it too because the way that Nitro was playing, right, you looked like he was trying to go for a different option, but when you're when you're playing on the on a stage that has a center platform, you have to anticipate moves that do pop out of that platform right. that no longer make it safe for you to land. Especially if that move can like be destroyed. Oh know? yeah. Because I'm pretty sure like a lot of characters are like, okay, I'm gonna land, I'm gonna shield immediately, or I'm gonna pop dodge, you know? And if you have an up smash ready before they can catch that landing, you know, it's all the better. Like, yeah, like, most definitely dude. All right, here. Well, so we're gonna go to game four. Nitro versus Sandy. Uh, Winners finals. Oh, one person with punch in the ticket. Two grands, yeah. Two grands. I mean, this is uh, pretty much game point here for Nitro. Getting another W here, but let's see if Sandy, Sandy has anything to say about it. Already looking to keep it neutral. I like the defensive play here. Looking for the fireball. No grab attempt afterwards. Question mark. I wonder what Sandy was looking for. If Nitro was gonna panic and shield. I mean, that's kind of like the thing, like, when you don't expect your option to actually go through. Oh, you know? yeah. And that was so smart. He went for Cade, anticipating that Nitro was going to go for Apple, already been back along the stage. And that would have definitely sent Joker in the wrong direction, giving Sand to the stock off that combo. And yeah, again, Jab going him off stage. Use the double jump. Gets caught with the forward tail, and that's going to be it. Oh, the prison shank puts this man off the commission here. Yeah. And I love what Nitro did right there. You know, he just put himself in between him and the stage and just gave him like, you're either gonna air dodge and eat this fair, or you're not, and you're just gonna be too far away to run. Yeah. <laughs> Pick your poison. Yeah. Nice. Sandy holds on the shield just an extra second long to survive getting hit from the back air. Really good understanding of the fact that Nitro might be going for a little get up or a get up. One of the options he might have been going for. I haven't seen Nitro attempt for a jump get up on the ledge. But if he does, he'll most likely go for TK after. Quick up smash, out of shield, catches the landing. And you know what, that's kind of like the, the bane of like playing, playing against any Mario, is that like anytime you're landing, you know, Mario can run halfway across the screen and be like, Hi, welcome to my noggin. Big race plays right here. <laughs> Whack. He hides uh, a little bit of metal Mario. Uh, oh yeah. Dude, the metal cap is like like. You see the the, the wool or the the whatever fabric on, on the outside of the cap, yeah. but on the inside it's just pure metal. Oh my god. Dude, shout out to Mario uh, Super Mario 64, the OG 3D platformer. <laughs> Sandy was unfortunately that space being on. Oh no, rolling down the ledge here. Yeah. Yeah. Back air. And again, that's kind of like the panic option that like pretty much strokers are looking for. You know, mm -hmm. you put so much pressure and they feel like, okay, I need to roll in the stage. The center stage is good. And Joker's just like, is it really good? Yeah. Or did I want you to roll there and like make you think it was good? Yeah. You know? Man, Nitro has not adjusted to that yet. Keeps going for neutral oh, get no. oh no! You know what? That's the first time the gun's down actually screwed over Sandy. Yeah. 